Hi kids, it's me, Poppy. Welcome back to Poppy Time. Today's book is The Story of Ferdinand by Monroe Leaf, drawings by Robert Lawson. Okay, I hope you like the book. Once Upon a Time in Spain. There was a little bull, and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree, and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. He just liked to sit and smell the flowers and relax. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can just sit quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. Look how big he got. And it says right here, he's two years old. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. Madrid is in Spain and that's where they have the bullfights. And all these bulls, they want to fight in the bullfight. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in, very funny hats, to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bulls to fight the bullfights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping, so the men would think they were very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care, so he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting, and instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that's what this bee did to Ferdinand. ruh -ro. Wow, did it hurt? Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, butting and pawing in the ground as if he were crazy. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all, just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. See, they put him in the cart and they're taking him away. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing, and all the lovely ladies have flowers in their hair. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the bandoleros with the long sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Next paint came the picadores who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him madder. Mm, that doesn't seem very nice.
Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword, and he was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull, and you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand. They called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and all the bandoleros were afraid of him, and the picadors were afraid of him, and the matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring, and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and stort and stick his horns around. Very exciting. What do you think Ferdinand is going to do? But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and all the lovely ladies' hair, and he just sat down quietly and smelled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. And the bandoleros were mad, and the picadores were mad, and the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. So they had to take Ferdinand. They had to take Ferdinand home. And for all I know, he is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy. Okay, that was the end. Thank you for joining me for Poppy Time today. I hope you liked the book. I really liked it. So, a couple of things. Number one, I wanted to tell you that some of the words in today's book were in Spanish. And I don't really speak Spanish, so I don't think I pronounce them correctly. But that's okay. That can be different. I'm a little different. If you speak Spanish and you can pronounce them correctly, that is super cool. And that's okay. And I said them a little different. And that's okay. Same thing with Ferdinand. He's a little bit different and that's okay. So some of the bulls were really tough and you find that in school and you find that in life that people are different and you shouldn't tease them. And some people aren't tough and some people wear their hair different and some people walk different or they don't walk at all or some people see different or eat different or talk different. And guess what? That's okay. Ferdinand did not want to fight. He wanted to smell the flowers. So when you meet someone different, that's really cool. And they can still be your friend. Not everyone has to be the same. So if you want to be different, be different. I think you're cool just the way you are. Okay? And you know what? I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>